self-determination for the District of Columbia have yet to be realized. So I ask again, what happens to a dream deferred? Well, that brings us to why we are here today. We are here today to reclaim that dream. We are here today to reclaim Dr. Martin Luther King's dream because injustice is here in Washington, D.C. And because injustice is here, Martin Luther King is here. And because Martin Luther King is here, we have the creative opportunity and responsibility to carry on this legacy through fighting for our self-determination and injecting new meaning into his dream through our fight for freedom, justice, and democracy. Can I get some round of applause for that? So Washingtonians, I come here to say that this is our time. This is our time because no lie can last forever. This is our time because the power of the people is stronger than the people in power. This is our time because the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends towards justice. But in order to bend towards justice, it takes our hard work. It takes us remaining steadfast and unmovable. So in closing, it has been said that at the very moment of commitment, the entire world conspires for our success. So today, let us reaffirm our commitment to expanding freedom, justice, democracy, reclaiming Dr. King's dream, and being the people that finally brings self-determination to the people of D.C. And we will be able to move from the despair of fatigue to the buoyancy of hope. And we will make this nation, this country, and this world a better place for our works. Thank you, Washington, D.C. This is our time.